It's being called an explosion of tax-related identity theft. Two News Problem Solver Michelle Lowry tells us the steps the IRS is taking to fight it with you. It happened to more than 600,000 people last year. Here's how it goes down. A thief gets your social security number and files a false tax return and collects the refund. It will easily take months for you to unravel the mess. This year, the IRS has doubled the number of employees attacking the problem. Dozens of new identity theft filters are in place in its automated systems. You can help yourself by never carrying your social security card with you and don't give the number out just because you're asked. If you know a credit report is required, then the social would be info that company needs. Otherwise, most legitimate businesses will accept a driver's license number instead of your social. Michelle Lowry, Two News works for you.